That's right. I got you juicy entertainment news for Monday. Dwayne Johnson says that his production company, Seven Bucks Productions, will no longer use real guns on their sets following the tragic shooting on the set of Rust. Um, and of course, you know, there's been tons and tons of stuff surrounding that whole entire situation. Uh, you know, there was rumors that were coming out and it's just been, it's just been a really tragic situation all around. Um, the Rock spoke with Variety last week and said, first of all, I was heartbroken that a life was lost. My heart goes out to her family and everyone on the set. I've known Alec for a long time too and I can't speak for anyone else, but I can tell you without an absence of clarity here that any movie that we have moving forward with Seven Buck Productions, any moving television show or anything that we do or produce, we will not use real guns at all. And rather than real guns, the company will be switching to rubber guns. Um, he said they're not going to worry about the dollars and what the cost of it is. They love the movie business. There are safety protocols and measures that they've always taken in the movie business. They take it very seriously and their sets are safe sets. They're probably out of that but accidents do happen and when something like this happens of this magnitude it's not only heartbreaking but uh, the most prudent thing to do and the smartest thing to do is just pause for a second and really re-examine how you're going to move forward and work together and this is something that uh, a lot of production companies are starting to look at is how they can change uh, you know this whole using real guns and of course with all the special effects and everything that they have nowadays you wouldn't think that they would even need to use real guns. Kanye's been trending after appearing on the YouTube show Drink Champs, uh, where he got very candid, um, spoke about pretty much everything. He addressed just about every elephant in the room. Uh, he talked about his new crazy haircut, uh, his beef with Drake, um, his divorce from Kim Kardashian. He also talked about signing Big Sean to good music and saying it was the worst thing he ever did. Threw some shade at John Legend, which the two of them both, of course, came back and threw shade at Kanye on Friday. Um, and then he also revealed who gave him his iconic Yeezy nickname. Beanie Siegel. Yes, it was Beans. He was the first to call him Yeezy. And uh, he also gave the explanation that, um, you know, that he's been trying to compensate Beanie for coming up with that name that has become now a billion dollar brand. He said, I still owe Beanie money. I've been trying to give him his money for a minute. You know, this man made the name up. It's like, you know, the lady who made the Nike swoosh? Well, Phil Knight went back and made sure she was straight. Well, interestingly enough, during an appearance in uh, his hometown of Philadelphia at a club over the weekend, Beanie Siegel revealed just how much money Kanye has been trying to give him. He said, I got a call from him the other day. He said, I owe you $5 million and 5% stock in Yeezy. Um, now... Yeezy did $1.7 billion in sales in 2020. So even though we're not quite sure exactly how much 5% stock is worth right now, that's pretty, uh, a pretty impressive chunk of money that Beanie's going to be collecting. And combined with the 50 mil that uh, Kanye says he owes him, it looks like Beanie is in for a big payday if Kanye lives up to his promise. Or I should say his new name now is Ye. If Ye lives up to his promise. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.